But uh, didn't, didn't Ray Ching know about that even before you joined the contest? Or did you tell him anything about your... Well, I didn't because I wasn't professional. Okay. And the the terms of the contest is contest is that you must be an amateur, non professional individual to join. And I wasn't making money off any music. I wasn't doing gigs, paid gigs. Like I was I was still an amateur. You know, I I was making my own music and I had the means to produce my own stuff but I never sold it for my own profits. Mm -hmm. So I I in that sense you're not uh, a professional, you're simply an amateur. Yeah. And Rachel was telling you that because you had recorded your own song that you are disqualified from winning, is that correct? Yeah. Or from joining the contest? From, he told me that I, because of that situation, I'm not able to receive the cash price and the song with Venny. And he basically, he gave me an ultimatum. He said, either we ignore this thing and you keep your title, but you don't get a song and you don't get a, you don't get the cash price or we strip you off your title and give it to the second place winner and he was like you know we don't really want to cause any drama being that this is the first star Kana contest in toronto and so so what did you decide well we thought about it and at that point, I was just very upset because we spent all this money trying to sell tickets um, and they weren't cheap tickets to start with, you know, getting people um, to come out to the show. And on top of that, there was, there was a, a fee for contestants to be in the grand finals. And so, like, all this money was accumulating. And then I won the contest, and I was, like, really happy. And then we have the situation. And when Ray told me, when Ray sat with us, I was just like, well, what do I do? So uh, he told you about this right after. Yeah, but before it was, it was a couple months. Yeah, but, but at the time that you were selling tickets and racing, uh, asking people to come to the event, to come to the event, nobody was telling you that you know you would not be qualified because you had this recording no. of your song. No. Well. So they're trying to disqualify you or disqualified you after. Yeah. Okay. I mean, nowadays, if you can sing, you. You have, you have SoundCloud, you have YouTube, you can be online and be heard. You know, mm -hmm. there, it's 2015. Um, independent music is, you know, it's very popular. There, anybody can pick up a guitar and put their song online. And so, me being non-professional, that was just me getting my voice out there. And as well, I wasn't using my single for, to make money for myself. I used it for Typhoon Haiyan, for charity. And I donated the proceeds to um, Philippine Red Cross. So at the time that uh, you were given the 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 rewards or your winnings, what happened then? 
Um, who were there at the time? The the night of the awarding, Rob Ford made an appearance and made a speech as well. Mayor Rob Ford. Yeah. Okay. And also the headlining event was um, Filipino celebrities Arnel Ignacio, Jelly De Berlin, and Derek Ramsey. Okay. And we were actually being hurried the event the the contest because the show was running late. So we were being rushed for the celebrities to come out that night. Okay. So at the time you were given the uh what what was it? The price? The prices? Yeah. Yeah. The that time so the awarding the was happening so the awarding was happening. They gave us medals, they gave us trophies. But there was on stage. No, on stage. Okay. But there was no cash prize in hand. I've been to so many other competitions and they would give you every all the prizes and the contract and everything right on the spot, right the day that moment that you become the champion but in this case they were like oh we'll just follow up so did you complain about not receiving your cash prize yeah during the time yeah i did i um contacted ray several times we emailed chamber of commerce they weren't answering who in the chamber of commerce who in particular I don't know. You don't know any official there? The we were given an email to contact. Okay. Uh, so how many people were you trying to contact in the chamber? In the chamber. Um, yeah. Just give me a number, and later we can check the names. We just re we I we got a hold of an an email from one of the um like producers of the contest you don't know the name i can't tell you right now okay so outside of that uh you had the contact with reaching yeah okay because because every time because um i would always be told to direct my attention to Ray anyway. Who? Who were telling you that? Um, when when we would receive an email from the Chamber, which took quite a bit, um, they just said, we, we said that, oh, I'm the winner of Star Kana and haven't received my cash prize. They said, please direct your attention to Ray Ching. But Ray Ching was like, Oh, I don't handle the money. You have to talk to the Philippine Chamber. So, uh, to join the contest, were you required to sell tickets or ask people to witness it? Yeah, we we had to sell a certain number of tickets. So during the elimination, we sold thirty tickets for ten dollars each, and then. The grand finals, we sold $25 tickets for how many? 30 also. 30 also. Okay. So, all in all, you raised uh, more than $1,000? Yeah, is that correct? Must have been. And these were, the, the, the money were, the money was given to the chamber? Yeah. Or to Ray Ching? For a chamber, Philippine chamber. So it was turn you personally turn over the money to the chamber. Um, yeah. Do you know who the person who received it? Um, Cheryl. Well, we would, cause the the handlers of the contest, we would only speak to them, and then they'd take care of the money and send it over to. Philippine Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Uh, did they promise you anything? You know, uh, if you raise a certain amount of money, did they promise you anything? No, there wasn't any um, situation like that where you had to sell a certain number of tickets. Mm -hmm. But 
um, part of the criteria for judging is um, audience impact. So meaning, um, the more audience engagement you have, the higher your score is for that criteria. So uh, that is measured by applause. By applause and cheering. Oh, okay. Yeah. The louder the applause, the more impact you have. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay.